welcome back to Christopher Code. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Fifine AM8 microphone. Now, this is a budget microphone made for streamers and content creators. So we're gonna have a look at the features, the build quality, and most importantly, the sound quality. Let's get into the video. So first of all, you get this box over here and it has some details about some of the features. So it has a USB connector, XLR connector, and on the side, you get a display of some of the other features. It's got controllable LED lights at the bottom. It's got a tap to mute button on the side as well, which I'll show you in a bit. It's got a volume dial for the headphones because you can listen to playback. It's got a mic gain button to adjust the mic to your preferences. And like I said, it's got real time playback. So it's got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Lovely. So now let's open the box and see what's inside. So upon opening the box, you get an instruction manual. Um, just some details about how to use it, what it's compatible for, how to turn on the LEDs, but we don't use instruction manuals over here. Let's put that to the side. Next up, you've got the stand. You get a USB-A to USB-C connector so you can plug in the microphone. And lastly, but most importantly, we've got the mic. So with the provided stand, you just screw on the stand onto the bottom, if I can. And this is the finished product. Now, this microphone just looks amazing. Let's start off with the overall design of this microphone. I opted for the white version to kind of go with the theme of my setup. You know, I've got a little vibe going, I want to keep that going. So I went for the white version. It's got this nice gray pop filter, um, the white chassis and some black accents on the side. So genuinely, this is probably the nicest mic I've ever owned. It feels really sturdy. I think this is a plastic exterior, but it doesn't feel like ridiculously cheap and it's got this metal side as well for adjusting the mic to your preferences and the stand is pretty heavy so your mic won't move around too much like when you put it on your desk it stays there so that's really good at the back of the mic you've got the connection so you've got the xlr connector the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for playback and you get the usb-c for power now let's plug this in and see some of the features it has when it's powered on so conveniently the port is at the bottom so for cable management this will be really good guys just look at this i'll add in some shots of how it actually looks because my lights are probably interfering with it but this genuinely looks amazing i cannot imagine how amazing this will look when you have an all dark room all the lights turn off you just have your monitor and your mic like it's gonna look amazing with the rgb so for the rgb you've got a touch sensitive pad to change the color hold it and it turns on and you tap it to change the color it's also got a mode where it rotates through different colors, so you can do that as well. And you hold it for a minute and it turns back off. Very simple, very intuitive. Next up is my favorite feature, which is the touch sensitive pad for muting the mic. Currently, the mic is turned off. I tap it, it's turned on. Tap it again, it's turned off. This is so convenient when I need to instantly mute. If someone comes in my room or if I just really, really need to go on mute sometimes, this makes it super convenient to do that. So you don't have to mess about with cables, trying to find the control hub and try to turn your mic off. This just makes it super easy. I assume this would be even easier if you have the mic boomed up. So if your mic was here and you were hands-free, your hand is in a natural position to turn this off. So you just tap it and it's off. Like it's super simple. So fee fine, fine, fine really did an amazing job with making this intuitive and ergonomic good job five points to you guys so next up we've got the dowels for the headphone and the mic gain we'll start off with the headphones over here i've got the fifine h9 which i did a review of in my previous video make sure you check that out so this has a 3.5 millimeter connection and all i need to do is plug this in slap this on And now I can hear myself in my headphones, but I'm speaking out loud, so I can obviously hear myself. It's really strange. So if you have your headphones plugged in, you'll be able to hear yourself in the microphone, which is good. But I can obviously hear myself because I'm speaking out loud, if that makes sense. Before we get onto the mic gain, let's talk about some of the other features the microphone has. So it has a pop filter, which helps with the plosives, which we'll test out in the audio test section. So it just comes off like this, and then it's on like that. And I like the way it's shaped, this cubed shape pop filter. It's really nice. Like it fits with the overall design. One thing I will say about Five Fine is they make really nice looking products. Like you have to admit that. Now we've gone over the build quality. We've gone over the aesthetics. We've gone over the controls. 
now let's talk about the mic quality right now i have the sennheiser mke 600 as my main mic i'm going to switch over to the fifine and we'll see how it sounds this is the audio quality of the fifine ama as you can tell it sounds really good quick disclaimer i'm holding this just because my xlr cable is a little short yeah this mic sounds really good it picks up my voice really well the bass is nice it doesn't sound muffled it doesn't sound bad it has a nice pop filter for the plosives so it sounds really good like it's a really good mic at around 45 pounds maybe 55 dollars this is a really good mic so if you're starting off streaming or gaming or a youtube channel this is really good if i knew about this mic earlier on i probably would have gotten it because it just sounds really good if you have this mic it'll be fine on your desk but like I said, my XLR cable is quite short. What I would probably do is boom this so you get a boom arm and boom this up so you have it around here. So you can get the best sounding mic. As it is a dynamic mic, I think that is the term. You do want it as close to your mouth as possible. So you don't want it very far away. Otherwise, the audio quality will be horrible. So I'm just going to do a quick test of the background noise it picks up. It shouldn't pick up too much. But I do have the fans from my light sources running. This room is not sound treated by any means. There are probably some birds on the roof. So this is kind of a normal room. So expect the noise that you hear now to be roughly what you would hear in an average room. Now here's the background noise test of the Fifine AM8. So as you can see, it doesn't pick up too much background noise. It does pick up a little noise from my fan but the minute you're speaking, nobody's gonna hear that. And if you're editing some video on Premiere Pro like I am, you could just remove the background noise and it should be fine. Like it's not extremely loud as you guys could tell. So yeah, like I said, this mic is amazing. It sounds really good. It picks up my voice really well and I will probably get a boom arm and this is definitely gonna stay in my setup 100%. So that wraps up the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and hit subscribe if you really loved it. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys could help me make that happen, that would be amazing. Let me know what you guys think of the mic quality in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, guys. Peace.